And with some young people in BC facing criticism for ignoring public health guidelines, we take a closer look now at why they're doing it. CTV's Petty Daflos explores what's behind the reckless behavior and how to stop it. When social media is full of videos like this as infections rise, the question of whether young adults are taking the pandemic seriously COVID! is front and center. I personally think it's selfish for people to do that. They're not thinking of others, but I also understand that it is hard and to discipline yourself not to not to do that. But there's so much stuff going on in the world right now that it's just like, uh, maybe let's just enjoy life as we can, you know? Jacob and I find distancing rules too hard. We're not used to it, and I don't think we're going to get used to it. Jean and Matthew are more cautious. I stick to my, my few friends, and we just hang out, like, at the beach or, like, in their backyard. Socializing is really just necessary for all of us humans. For emerging adults and people in their, teen, in their teenage years, too, um, it's developmentally appropriate to be breaking away in some ways from your family. The psychologist also points out before the age of 25, our brains haven't fully developed the part responsible for understanding consequences. And let's not forget about the dual factors of the economy and the housing market. Young adults are more likely to still be living at home or in small apartments and feeling really cramped. They've got few options for some fresh air and independence. Many are being safe and distant. Remember the finger wagging at anti-racism rallies? Widespread mask usage prevented infections. And the current advice is reasonable. If you're going to have a party, you're going to have some fun, keep it to the people that you know. Our top doctor prefers young people lead by example rather than public shaming. Be my voice on social media. We can play safe and stay safe. Once other people start seeing their friends taking these precautions, then that becomes the normal or expected thing to do. And then they start taking the same precautions. We've come this far that it would just be a shame to go back. Penny Daflos, CTV News, Vancouver.